Malaria is a big, big menace in the country. About three million people are getting malaria every year. And for children under five years, in fact, all deaths, malaria contributes to about a quarter of the deaths. Le paludisme se manifeste de différentes manières et ça peut aller de simples maux de tête avec un peu de fièvre aux maux de tête plus des douleurs abdominales, plus de la fièvre, plus des vomissements, donc des troubles digestifs, jusqu'au moment où on peut aussi arriver à des signes neurologiques, des comas et enfin euh, mourir du paludisme. Malaria in Kenya is still a big problem. Malaria still accounts for nearly 30% of outpatient uh, visits to hospital and nearly 15% of hospital admission. Malaria remains a tragic thing. There's no excuse for people dying from malaria today. We have the tools to prevent and to treat malaria. And despite that, tragically, an estimated 840,000 people died of malaria in 2008. And 90% of those are in children uh, south of the Sahara in Africa. The main challenges are making sure that you have the drugs available and cheap so that both the public sector and the private sector, they can get the drugs. Second, making sure the nets are available you distribute to all the people and they will sleep in them. Third, make sure pregnant women will take their drugs. Another challenge is getting people to use this intervention. Information, communication, to get people to go to the hospital to get quick treatment for malaria when they fall sick. We need to do more communication. You have to decide to take it to the center of health from the first sign. Plus vite il sera traité, plus vite il guérira. Le paludisme a aujourd'hui un traitement qui est celui que tout le monde recommande, notamment l'Organisation mondiale de la santé, une combinaison thérapeutique à base d'artémisine. Et nous voulons donc qu'il y ait une surveillance pour que tous les effets qui pourraient exister soient vraiment euh, suivis. There are a lot of partners coming on board now. They are mobilizing all the funds and the money is available. Look at the Global Fund. Look at the President Malaria Initiative, USAID, World Bank. Name them. All of them. Partners are coming together. In the last five years, malaria has seen a lot of progress. Progress in how much partners have come on board with enormous resources. Progress in terms of the discoveries that have been made that are leading into new medications. And now progress is being made in how people can be unified in the fight against malaria. Il y a 10 ans, il n'y avait que 60 millions de dollars donnés par la communauté internationale pour lutter contre ce fléau. Aujourd'hui, on est à près de 2 milliards de dollars. Donc c'est pour dire que au plan financier, les choses ont avancé. Uh, the Global Fund is a major contributor to the to the fight against malaria in terms of financing. We're a we're a financing institution. We cumulatively, since 2002 to now 2009, have contributed two-thirds of all of the international money available for malaria. Il faudrait continuer à développer de nouveaux produits. Les médicaments, parce qu'on vous a dit qu'il y a la résistance. Il faudrait faire de la prévention si elle arrivait. Les vaccins sont en développement. The malaria vaccine would be a wonderful tool to have. There's a vaccine that's in uh, testing right now uh, in a multi-center trial, and the results of that are going to be very important to look at. And if it uh, continues to show uh, that it's preventing clinical malaria in the first year of life and preventing severe malaria, this could be a very valuable tool to add to uh, our armamentarium. Aujourd'hui. On parle beaucoup du paludisme, il y a des pays qui ont fait des progrès, il y a plus de moyens. 
Et donc, euh, il faut avoir beaucoup d'espoir. Eradication is the highest attainable ideal in the fight against malaria. Whether we attain it or we don't attain it, but in trying to go towards eradication is about the best way to go. You know, we may never get to the stars, but we use the stars to navigate our paths towards stardom. So I think that eradication is just like the stars. Mm -hmm.